500,000 condoms sent from AHF to Cuba in historic gay health partnership. In their first ever collaboration, AIDS Healthcare Foundation, or AHF, met this summer with representatives of the Cuban Ministry of Health to discuss a partnership for strengthening the country's HIV program. The inaugural meeting coincided with a donation of half a million condoms, reaffirming AHF's commitment to supporting HIV and STI prevention efforts throughout the country. The three-day trip also included strategic meetings on the country's way forward in its HIV response and site visits to a health facility and Pro Salud, the National Unit for Health Promotion and Disease Prevention, which leads an initiative to reach key populations. Along with the potential for a more concrete partnership down the road, discussions also centered on key focus areas, including training for medical staff and peer educators, strengthening community networks, enhanced mobile services, increased access to condoms and supplies, and cooperation and training with the other regional AHF teams. And I love that they say uh, condoms and supplies because you told me that on one of your trips, you realized lube is not a readily available no, uh, manufactured not. project product. Yeah, spit is the number one lubricant in, uh, for gay men in Cuba. It's not only painful, it's an additional health hazard. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. I, um, I, I find this interesting because Cuba actually is better ranked than the U.S. in healthcare on most things. Um, but their, their lack of access to supplies makes you know, STIs a major issue. Mm -hmm. um, and I wonder if that half million condoms is meant to be like a three month supply because I know some Cubans. And <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That's a very good joke. And Cubans uh, would love that joke. You know, uh, it's interesting to me. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of Americans and a lot of LGBT Americans are, are uh, we stand up and protest over Cuba instantaneously. There's no politics in this story. Um, I applaud AHF. I absolutely, no question about it, I applaud AHF what they're doing. A lot of people do not realize that Cuba is uh, has, um, especially for its economy of scale, one of the best healthcare systems mm -hmm. in the world. In fact, their number one export is not sugar, it is not tobacco, it's doctors. Their number one export is doctors. They send doctors all over the world uh, to help countries all over the world, including China. Um, we, in 2019, brought um, uh, It's Happening Out um, and Happening Out Television Network to Cuba for their Cuba Pride in 2019, the last time it was done uh, in, in full fashion in 2019. And we hosted a party uh, in the University District in Havana. Uh, we had 40 representatives from the show and guests from South Florida that came with us. And we held this party, and one of the things that we did in inviting the LGBT Cuban community to come to the party was free distribution of condoms and lube and various different kinds of condoms and lubricants and other things. Uh, it was like Christmas and New Year's and your birthday <laughs> all rolled in together. And it was packaged and, and basically whatever you would like. And we brought thousands and thousands and thousands. And I think somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 approximately came to the party. And it was so incredibly important for the LGBTQ community uh, in terms of what we did. I was very proud to participate in that moment. Congratulations to AHF. It's another door that's being opened with Cuba. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.